Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Joey Bridges, I am joined by my brother James. Alright, today, the land of Facebook marketing. It is always changing and continuing to evolve, and our job, as always, to bring you the latest news, the latest information to make sure your marketing efforts generate money, because that's what we're all about for businesses, uh, small businesses, big, small, generate some money from your Facebook marketing efforts. Alright, interesting article that uh, James actually brought, well... Commented on it, I think, just the other day. You know, it was just recently. And it came out, it was a report. Uh, actually, it was from our friends over at, uh, was it allfacebook.com? Allfacebook. They brought that uh, news to everybody. Yeah, it was, a, it was a neat article. The headline caught my attention. Your fans are fair weather friends. Uh, I don't think there couldn't be a more accurate title um, for the Facebook community at times. Uh, meaning, hey, some, some of those uh, people who are friends of your business may be friends for only a short period of time. Uh, some of them may only be friends because they're trying to get something out of you. Yeah. Uh, and so a very neat article that uh, I would say is almost a cautionary tale, especially as all of us are uh, investing money in our Facebook marketing, putting a lot of time in. Uh, if you do a few things wrong, you might get some unpleasant results if you don't watch out. Now, James, quickly find the number for me on that report over there as you glance over. What was the number that only became a fan or a friend to take advantage of the one-time offer? What's that number? Yeah, that one uh, was interesting. It was... The uh, they only twenty six percent only clicked like to take advantage of a one time offer. So here's the, and by the way, so twenty six percent, so twenty six percent, a little over a quarter of the people uh, took advantage. Now this, what James and I have always recommended is number one, you have a a great compelling offer, a, a marketing landing tab that gives them one great compelling reason um, to join you. To you know that's that first step, that first step in the relationship. You have to be careful, of course, you know, it's slightly. It's twenty six percent isn't you know, 50%. However, it is a big percentage where you want to make sure that's the start of the relationship. You don't want to, and you want to make it so Roman that they never want to go back because you can't top that offer, so to speak. You know, that's what, that's what I get out of that one thing is, you know, it's the start of the relationship, not it's so good that, hey, I just want this and I am done with you. Well, yeah, and it almost says, hey, if you have to bribe someone, you know, bribery rarely works to keep someone for the long haul. Yeah. You know, it doesn't usually keep them in your world for the long haul. Like, maybe it gets, hey, it gets you that quick strike, uh, but it doesn't keep people in your world enough if you're merely bribing them. Hey, hey, here, here, here you go, come, use me. That bribery usually doesn't last very long, and hey, for 26% of the people, that's all they came for. Yeah, we're, James and I think we're above bribery, you know, we're not saying that. We just want to be careful how you do it, what the offer is. And we still, hey, coupons are still great, you know, coupons for, coupons for, hey, first-time customers, coupons for repeat customers, coupons of that nature uh, are still great. We'll use them for our, you know, hair salons and our chiropractors and all sorts of people. So, it's just cautionary of what it is. I mean, you know, don't give away the farm is what we're saying on some of those bribes because some people are going, hey, first, and again, every model is different, you know, that's why we won't, you want to say test more, it out. more importantly, though, the, uh, probably the number, it's like the number two reason, you know, 43% of people unliked a page because they felt the material was too marketing and promotional. That's sad. Yeah, and, and I'd say that's probably the one that's like, oh, and I think that's where a lot of business struggle. Hey, what do I share? I should just blast them sales. I should just blast them new products. Well, I think, hey, that shows, hey, look, you're going to kill almost half those people on your fan page if that's all you're doing. If you're not providing any value, um, that's going to be a challenge. Yeah, and this is what we're, you know, if you're in a in a business like uh, we have a lot of insurance clients or you're in a sales, you know, type organization, you have to be careful that the only, if the only thing you're ever talking about is buying your product, yeah. this is where we run into it a lot. A lot of um, individual sales reps, um, even uh, multi-level marketers, um, you know, insurance, uh, real estate, mortgage, that's anything. They're only like, hey, it's buy, 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 buy. <laughs> and it's not intentional. And uh, we do, because there are clients, we do know them. I'm like, you're coming off like you only care about the sale. What can you do to help your clients? Maybe it's, you know, what can you do to help them in their lives? What can you do to help them even if they didn't buy your product and they bought the competitors? How? What kind of information can you provide to them? That's what we want you to bring to your clients. Everybody has a competitor. Okay, so everybody has one. So you know, and we still want to we still want to get them to do something. We still want to make calls to action. the The point is, hey, it if can't you're only don't, be that. Exactly, it can't only be, hey, just sell, sell, sell. We gotta, hey, pique some interest, add some value, and then give a powerful call to action. So they're saying, hey, wait a second. I should do something. Yeah, so I have gotten a lot of value. I have gotten a lot of value. Lead them to the sale. The end of the day, it's go. just leading them to the sale. You know, mix some build rapport, build rapport, go for the sale, but don't just go for the sale. Don't leave out the rapport parts. That's what we want you to do, especially on your Facebook fan page, because they are there to entertain, they are there to have fun, they are there to goof off a little bit. So don't just spam them to death. All right, that's it for today. On behalf of James, I'm Joy Bridges. To your success with your Facebook marketing.